Wind has certainly been a big weather story tonight, hasn't it? Yeah, yes. it has. And we've had some power lines down, some trees down as well. Mm -hmm. And the only good news that wind is diminishing at this okay. point. So instead of those winds gusting to 50 miles per hour like they were earlier today, we're more in that 20 to 30 range. And I think that continues over yeah. the next 12 hours or so. That will include your Friday. We'll be tracking a few showers, too, before the temperatures take a tumble. We are up significantly from earlier today. With rain, we spent most of the day in the 40s. As the rain came to an end, at least that steadier rain, we warmed 54 degrees. Southerly flow of air responsible for that. We're on the warm side of a still developing storm system. We have a south wind at 15 miles per hour. We're still tracking a few wind gusts in the range of 20 to 30. A 22 mile per hour wind gust now in McCordsville and Muncie. 23 in Marion and Columbus. 28 mile per hour wind gust in Bloomington and Crawfordsville. We're going to be in this range, especially through the daylight hours tomorrow. Still tracking a few spotty showers too. This is live Doppler 13 radar. Spotty showers from near Muncie to Hamilton County around Carmel and Westfield and then back to near Terre Haute, south to Bloomington. This is the type of shower activity that we're forecasting to continue over the next 12 hours or so. We think the majority of the heavy rain has come to an end, but these spotty showers will linger overnight and through the early part of tomorrow. We put this in motion over the last couple of hours. These showers will continue in all part of a weather system that has caused lots of trouble over the last couple of days, especially travel trouble. On the cold side of this weather system, there's been heavy snow. They've been measuring it foot, foot and a half across parts of the Dakotas. Winter storm warnings and blizzard warnings continue. The heavy snow now starting to make its way into parts of Minnesota. On the warm side of this weather system, the threat for severe weather. That is beginning to wind down, although we've got a round of storms rolling through Atlanta. We're kind of in the middle of this weather system, but if you do have some travel plans, the next 12 to 24 hours, all of this is moving toward the East Coast and most likely will cause some travel delays. Once that cold air gets here, we're going to feel that temperature tumble, and you're going to notice that tomorrow afternoon. We'll start tomorrow morning with showers, 54 degrees at 8 a.m. We will begin that temperature tumble as the rain moves out, and that will happen mid to late morning. So we'll already be down into the upper 40s by noon, by 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon in the upper 30s and low 40s. So temperatures are going to move in the wrong direction during the day tomorrow. And we'll start the weekend on a chillier note, too. We're forecasting highs in the upper 30s on Saturday. Pretty quiet weather pattern locally and across a good part of the country as we start the weekend. However, developing weather system will bring some rain from Dallas to Atlanta. That could cause some travel delays. We will watch this weather system move toward now. Nashville on Sunday evening for our Colts. We'll keep you updated on that forecast as well. Morning showers, breezy, and then turning colder. We'll fall from 54 into the 30s by tomorrow afternoon, eventually into the upper 20s as we start the weekend. Saturday's high 37, Sunday 43. Weather system arrives here Sunday night into Monday, mainly a rain event before we ring in the new year with a temperature drop, upper 20s, low 30s as we start 2019.